It's Juliana from London by London and today we are going to be exploring Greenwich. Um, now Greenwich is one, to, one of London's not so hidden gems. Um, there's a wealth of museums and sites to see. So enough talking from me, let's go and discover. And I'm standing here in front of one of Greenwich's best known sites, which is the Cutty Sark. What is the Cutty Sark exactly? The Cutty Sark is a tea clipper. That is a ship that was built to transport tea as quickly as possible between China and England, because everyone knows we love a cup of tea here in England. Now, she was built in 1869 in Scotland, um, retired from the seas and has had a very adventurous life. But the latest stage of that is here in Greenwich, um, where she underwent a massive restoration project in between 2007, 2012, which saw her lifted out of the water so that you could see her in her full glory for the first time. was the Cutty Sark. Now I have to say, I've never been inside the Cutty Sark before. Um, I've walked past it a million times, knew the story, fast ship on the seas, but had I gone inside? No. Um, it is really interesting. You learn all about the history of the Cutty Sark. So not only was she a tea clipper, but she uh, also transported wool, coal between Australia, China, um, England, obviously. Uh, so very interesting, great views up there as well of Canary Wharf um, and of our next spot, which I am going to go and see in a second. Already here at our next stop. Now it might look to you like I'm in the same place, but I am not. We are going to go and see the Greenwich Foot Tunnel. Now it might not look like much on the outside, but this was actually a massive solution to a huge problem um, in the Victorian times, which was how to get from one side of the river to another. And the solution lay under the river. Our next stop today is the Old Royal Naval College. Um, now this is famous particularly for the Painted Hall, which is called uh, the British version of the Sistine Chapel. We're gonna go and see that later. And also another place which isn't talked about so much, which I think is really beautiful, which is the Chapel of St. Peter and Paul. Um, so we're gonna go and check both of those out. <laughs> Now there we are, the old painted hall. Now it's spectacular, isn't it? And even more so, I think, when you realize that rather than being built as part of a royal palace, it was built for old retired Navy seamen. Um, and they would show visitors around, kind of give a tour of the hall um, and talk about all the little tidbits and uh, the, the allegories and figures that you can see within it. Um, but I think it's really cool that it was just painted this elaborate and gorgeous Baroque painting um, for retired Navy men. Don't forget to pop into the chapel of St. Peter and Paul for some more OTT interiors either. <laughs> you could really um, forget how much there is to see in Greenwich. I don't know why I thought it would be fine to like come down for a day. Really, you could spend so much time exploring Greenwich because there is so much to see. Um, but the game's afoot. There's still tons to go and explore. So what am I talking for? Let's go. Now I am outside of the National Maritime Museum, another must visit destination in Greenwich. Um, I'm not going to pop in today because I have been so many times. Now, I don't know about you, but I remember the first time I was going to visit the National Maritime Museum, I was kind of a bit like, ugh, yawn, this is a bit tiresome. Um, but I was going for an Ansel Adams exhibition. Um, they had an exhibition of the photographer's works and I was like, I'm definitely gonna go, but like, I'll just swing by the National Maritime Museum afterwards. 
then I went inside and I was like, oh my God, mind blown. This is actually really cool. And obviously the UK is, um, uh, has a strong maritime history and actually like it's presented really well it's very thoughtfully presented very interestingly curated um, and it tells a very balanced story about the history of um, the UK and Greenwich's maritime history so why would you not want to find out more about that? Our next stop today is the Queen's House. Now this is just a couple of paces away from the National Maritime Museum. It was built in the 17th century and designed by Inigo Jones. Um, now it was built for Queen Anne, um, who was James II's wife, but unfortunately she died before it was completed. And so Queen Henrietta, who was Charles I's wife, was the first queen to inhabit the house. Um, now I think that there are a couple of very, very cool things inside the Queen's house. One is the tulip staircase and two is the new art collection or the art collection that it has inside. It's always a pleasure going into the Queen's house. And although there are so many artworks in there, I would definitely recommend that you go and scope out the Queen Elizabeth Armada paintings. Um, now, if you think of a picture of Queen Elizabeth, um, I'm pretty sure that the Armada paintings are going to be the ones that spring to mind. And they have not one, but three of them on show inside the Queen's house. So it's a very cool place to go and explore. Um, but that is one of the highlights of the collection, um, which incidentally, the Royal, Museum's, the Royal Museum's Greenwich collection is actually the second biggest art collection in London um, after the National Gallery. Oh, I'm starting to get a bit tired now of like all of this walking so much to see but still maximum energy because there are still more places in Greenwich to go and discover today and so no rest for the wicked my friends. The next stop on today's little jaunt around Greenwich is the Royal Observatory. Um, now, traditionally, this has played a really important part in British history in terms of navigation and time. Um, I've never actually been inside, been passed a million times, but never been inside. And also, if you climb up to the observatory, you will find one of the best viewpoints in London. Greenwich is one of London's royal parks and it's actually the oldest of the royal parks um, dating back originally to the Roman times um, and then the site of Greenwich Castle um, and Palace and now Greenwich Park. Now it was actually um, Henry VIII who introduced the deer that you can still see here today um, to the park. Uh, it was one of his favourite royal hunting grounds and so it's a park with a really interesting history but more than that it's just a beautiful beautiful spot on a summer's day um, with a lovely picnic it is just perfection. It's not a London by London video if I don't end up crouching down somewhere. And this is for one of Greenwich's weirder spots. Now, there's that little hole you can see. Oh, it looks maybe a bit deliberate. Now, this is the remain, all that remains of what used to be Montague House. Um, a bath, it was a bath. Um, so this is all that remains of Montague House. Now, that might be interesting in a kind of vague way if it weren't for the story behind the resident of Montague House which was Princess Caroline of Brunswick. Um, now Princess Car Caroline had a rather unfortunate marriage. She actually got married to um, the guy who was to become George IV uh, who wasn't exactly the 
ideal husband. Um, in other words, he was a philanderer and he was a drunk. Um, however, he was also keen on spreading some very malicious rumours about Princess Caroline. One was that she uh, was having loads of affairs and was being very unfaithful. And another was that she never washed. Now, about the affairs, no one can actually say that whether that's true or not but one thing that the remains of this bath will tell us is that the uh, the rumors of being unclean well that's just not true I also can you imagine um you don't like your wife very much so you say that she smells <laughs> I mean how old was he about five and this, my friends, is where I leave you. It is Juliana from London by London. I hope that you have enjoyed exploring Greenwich with me today. Now, if you want to discover more London areas, don't forget to hit that subscribe and notifications button. And I will see you in another part of my hometown.